Hey guys, I am back today with another product review and I am so, so excited to share these. They are affordable products. You can find them at the drugstore and they are amazing. So I have talked about them before on my Instagram stories and the first time I tried them, I just was in love and I have been testing them out since. They are part of the Shea Moisture Green Coconut and Activated Charcoal line. I have the Purifying Hydrating Shampoo, the Light conditioner and the in shower styler. These are the only products I use to complete a full hair routine. I will have some footage of how I style my hair using these towards the end of the video, but first I wanted to just kind of talk about these pretty quickly. So I came across these products in Ulta recently. I believe they are a newer line because I've never seen them there before. And what really got me is a little phrase on here, oily roots and dry ends. So my big thing with Shea Moisture is that it's just overall a little bit too heavy on my hair. The idea of the products always sound great and I always end up trying them but a lot of the times my hair just ends up being weighed down. So when I saw that this was targeted for oily roots I was like okay well maybe this won't weigh my hair down. I just have to start off by saying that these products smell so good. It's not overpowering or anything. It is a coconut scent but not coconut in like the summery type way and then you have the white tea and lemon balm in there. It's just such a pleasant, pleasant scent. I think like th third day hair or something, I took my hair down and I was sitting next to Vin and he's like, oh my God, your hair smells so good. So this like makes your hair smell amazing. Let's start off talking about the shampoo. It is a bit thicker in consistency. So I find that I have to keep adding a bit of water to get a really good lather and kind of move it around my hair more easily. But once you do, it does work into a really nice lather and it's not drying at all. I'm assuming the charcoal in here helps a lot with the thorough cleansing that this gives, but it just leaves my hair really clean without feeling stripped or dry. Really, really love this shampoo. I think this is actually one of my favorites from the drugstore that I have tried so far. And then I have the Late Hydrating Conditioner here. I believe this is the first regular conditioner I've tried from Shea Moisture. I don't know why I always gravitate towards trying hair masks, even from Shea Moisture, because I know that they're generally a little bit heavy for me, but I did opt to go for the everyday daily conditioner this time. Again, this is thicker in consistency and it does have the activated charcoal in there as well, but it's in the form of these little beads and the beads don't get stuck in your hair. They do kind of melt down into nothing once you apply it and rinse it out. This is really hydrating. My hair feels incredibly soft after rinsing this out and this probably has the best slip of any Shea Moisture conditioner that I've used. A lot of the Shea Moisture conditioners that I've tried in the past haven't been the best with providing slip for detangling. Not to say that this is the best detangling conditioner but it's definitely a lot more efficient than the other Shea Moisture your conditioners that I've tried. And then we have the In Shower Styler, which has the consistency of a conditioner. It's not quite as thick as the light conditioner in the line, but it is a pretty thick cream. I Something I actually forgot to mention about the shampoo is that it is black, is charcoal colored. The In Shower Styler is as well, but the In Shower Styler has a disclaimer on the back saying that you might want to do a strand test if you have lighter hair, but that's not noted on the shampoo, so you should be okay if you have lighter hair, at least using the shampoo and conditioner, and just be cautious with this styler. So this product is really meant to simplify your wash and go routine. You apply In Shower, lightly rinse, and then air dry. So I have air dried with this in the past, I actually slept with my hair wet and woke up to the most beautiful curls ever. I will insert the picture again. I did post it in my last video. And then when I used it yesterday for the first half of this video, I did diffuse only because I was short on time and both came out really nice. I'm so loving these products because they just give me the softest, bounciest, shiniest, like effortless curls. I've always wanted that really lightweight, not wispy because that makes it sound thin, but you know those curls that are so smooth and bouncy, it almost looks like you used a curling wand to get them? That's what this gives me. And even in the second day, hold is really good. Another really, really great thing is I do not get any knots or tangles with these. I have nothing else to say except for you need to try these. So I will leave links for these products down below. All right, that's enough talking for me. Let's jump into the routine.
in this t-shirt from the time I got out of the shower and then I just uh, put my skincare on and stuff like that. So now we are going to let my hair down. Excuse me while I talk to you like I'm cousin it. I am now going to diffuse using the Diva Fuser. So I'm going to do that now. Mm -hmm. 